A director with World Ventures with the company a little bit over five years. It's been an amazing journey over the last two years. I've really, really started building this and, you know, created some residual income. I'm retired 20 years military officer. Uh, greatly to this concept, I was actually able to retire myself seven years early from the United States Army. And so I have a lot of passion for what it is we do with this concept. And it's my job to share this passion and my vision forward, not just with my team and my downline and my lineage, so to speak, but with the world. And so the guest speaker that we have online and myself have had the opportunity to do travel parties and Zoom presentations all through Central and South America. I look up to him. This guy's a mentor to me. I love this guy. He comes from a business background. He's a marketing director in World Ventures. He's a trainer. Uh, he's trained on international stages to include Central and South America. The last regional training event that was done in Colombia, he was front and center, one of the main speakers and trainers there. You know, this guy, $100,000 a year, soon to be a regional marketing director. He's a husband. He's a man of God. You know, after God's own heart, he's married, he's got ch six children. Like, there's so many things. I, get, I have a laundry list of amazing things I can tell you about tonight's speaker. So if you guys are hopping on right now during this introduction, that's great because you get to hear it all. You get to hear our marketing director, our amazing leader, our guest speaker. Cesar Ruiz, I know you're on the call, brother. Say hi to everyone. How are you, Cesar? Good, Javier. Thank Hola. you for having me here. Hola a todos. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hola, hola. Thanks, for, thanks for logging in. Hola, Mali, Maria Pili from the Netherlands, Maria right? Pili. Maria Pili. Okay. What are you doing in the Netherlands? Uh, not sleeping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I see some people from uh, Florida, right? Gainesville, Michigan. But I'm um, Dominican. Eh? I'm, not, I'm, I'm married to a Dutch, but I come from the Dominican Republic. Okay. That's a good mix, Dominican. Yes. See, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. Well, hello, everybody. It's an honor to be here, uh, Javier. Um, in the short time that we've been really connecting, it's been an inspiration uh, for his dedication to, to the business and also his dedication to personal development and the personal growth that he has gone through and, and just uh, shining through and with his leadership. I've been able to add him to the group of um, Spanish speaking leaders worldwide and I know he's a great asset to all of us. So you, you guys should be very fortunate to know that you're part of his team. So it's an honor to be here, Javi. Let me know what the, the rules are. Oh, and Javi, can you allow me, uh, can you let me record this? I am absolutely ready? recording this, absolutely. Okay. Yep, it's already recording. Okay, cool, so you, you just can you send me a link when we're done? Yes, so sir, can... absolutely will. Awesome. So let me know how I can help you, Javier. All right, well, hey okay, guys, so Caesar is an amazing, amazing leader. Um, and so the, the, there's a lot of people here that speak English and Spanish. So they have, they've seen you all over the Spanish trainings and the Zooms. And, you know, uh, Caesar has his own YouTube channel with an incredible amount of content, cesaripamela.com. And Pamela is his wife, who's also a great leader in World Ventures. She is just simply amazing. So females, if you're looking for a female leader uh, with a lot of character to look after and, and look for mentorship, Pamela is the person for you. Do not, you know, miss the opportunity to connect with this amazing woman. Um, my beautiful wife, Jada, she follows you greatly. She is more dominant in Spanish than she is English. And so, you know, um, seeing you like literally daily, Caesar. So, um, you know, you, you come from a place where I admire you. I've seen you throughout, you know, my, my five, six years in World Ventures. Um, and, uh, you know, I've seen you through the, the Latin American community and how you're building there and how you're connected to all of the IMDs. Uh, we just recently started a new thing in, in Latin America. We're going to do this massive Latino American dream trip. So it's going to be like a massive resort takeover. This is going to happen in 2021. All these efforts are actually happening by leaders like Cesar Ruiz and the IMDs and um, NMDs in Central and South America. So Cesar, um, the theme that I've been putting on my questions and answer sessions um, going forward to close the year are how do you close the year with a bang? Okay, uh, so for people like Caesar, myself, and many leaders that are on this call um, that are senior reps and above who've been with the company for a very long time, for more than a year or two, you understand that the latter part of the year is always a more difficult part of the year because people are thinking about other things. They're thinking about Thanksgiving, they're thinking about Halloween, they're thinking about Christmas, maybe New Year's and things like that, which causes 
our sales in the industry of business to actually go down. And this is historically the way it is for any business. Now, on top of that, you throw the pandemic, you, you over layer that on top of the situations that are happening. And so I want to talk a little bit first about you, Caesar, so that the people know who you are. But the theme for tonight is during this pandemic, during the, the, the last, what, nine weeks we have of the year, how do we close it out with a bang? How do we set ourselves up for success for 2021 so that, you know, when momentum comes at the end of January, which is our first international training event that we have for world ventures we are already ranked up and we're ready to get recognized on the global stage so caesar um talk to us about you your background what were you doing when you were introduced to world ventures and why did it catch your attention and you know all the way up into you today what's happening talk yeah, to us so thank you javi so uh, we live in dallas but i'm originally from mexico but my wife is american she's from northern indiana and when we got married, we moved to Mexico. I asked her when, when we were dating if she would be willing to live in Mexico with me. And she said yes. So we moved to Guadalajara, Mexico, which is the third largest city there. We lived there for eight years. And there she became Mexican. She learned how to speak Spanish, how to cook uh, Mexican style. And, and we were very happy down there. Uh, and somebody introduced us to the Amway business when we were in Mexico. And I was really young. I, I didn't even know how the world worked. I, I was just getting started as a provider for my family, but I got excited about the possibility of creating residual income. So we were in Amway for about six years in Mexico and I could never figure out why I was never able to build a big team there. And um, I was hundred percent in, I learned a lot through their system. They have a really good personal development system. If you're familiar with Amway, they made our industry legitimate. Um, decades ago, uh, but anyway, we had about a about hundred people on our team and then a devaluation came uh, right in the nineties and we decided to came, come back to the States and I'm going to tell you the truth. I mean, I, in network marketing, you learn to dream big, but when those, when those dreams don't take place, the Bible says that, um, I forget the exact scripture in English, but. Uh, where it says that a hope is not fulfilled in Proverbs, I believe it is. Um, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. So we moved back to Dallas and we quit doing network marketing. And I swore that I would never do network marketing again because it broke my heart. I, mean, I, I believe that we we're going to be free. It was going to take us two to three years to become uh, millionaires. And we we're going to be able to do all these things that God had put in our hearts. But the reality is that I could never grow my business to that point. And deep inside my heart, there was a, a deep doubt, a deep question of why was not, I was not able to do it. Throughout the years, I came back to the U.S. I was very grateful to network marketing, to Amway, because I learned how to sell. And I understood that that's where the money was. So I got into a technical sales, industrial sales. I'm not an engineer, but a friend of mine got me into that space because I saw that he was making good income, working from home. And uh, by then my wife and I were, were catching the vision. Uh, we wanted to be able to disciple our family. We had two small kids. I think they were four and two years old when we moved back to the US. And um, for about 10 years, that career was great. I was working from home, making good income with flexibility. We started homeschooling our kids. We had two more kids, so we had four kids. And then uh, we had the opportunity, amazing opportunity to adopt Jaden, our son. And then as soon as we adopted him, we found out that Pam was pregnant. And so we went from five to six in a couple of months. So anyway, we were, we were blessed. Things were, things were going great. They, people invited me to different network marketing companies, but I always kept saying no. And on the outside, I look, look, everything looked good. Like everything was going great, but deep inside, I was still hungry for that personal development aspect, the leadership and the team building aspect of network marketing, but I was afraid to dream again. So my wife ended up, Pam ended up joining another company for uh, cosmetics and skincare and nutritional products. And I just, I, I want nothing to do with it. I told her, I'll support you. I watch the kids while you go and do your meetings. So she did that. She actually did better than I, that we had done in Amway. But then we started having problems in our marriage because it was, pulling us apart. 
So we just, and that's when we adopted Jaden and then she got pregnant with Lucas, our youngest one. And we, and we decided to stop that business. And then we said, well, I guess network marketing is not for us. But then seven years ago, a friend of ours from our homeschool co-op, because they also homeschool their kids, she sent me a, she, she came up to me during one of our meeting, meetings for, the, for our kids. And she asked me, what's your number? And it was really suspicious, really weird. And I thought, I bet she's in network marketing. She's going to prospect me, right? And then she, she called me that same day and she did everything wrong. She invited me to see World Ventures. And I told her, are you inviting me for, uh, to see World Ventures? I mean, to see a, a network marketing company? And she said, well, yeah, but this is different. It's travel. And I told her, well, you're not inviting me right. You're saying too much. 30 minutes later, I thanked her for the opportunity. I told her, hey, I wish you the best, but just really network marketing is not for me, but I wish you the best. So she kept on sending me pictures. So that's the importance of follow-up. If you have talked to anybody in the business and you saw any potential in them, follow up with them. She kept on sending me pictures. Hey, we qualify for a BMW. It was a BMW program back then. And we made it to residual income, senior rep. Then she sent me a picture with her and her team. We made it to director. I'm like, man, this sucks. It worked for her. Why? Why could I not make it work? And she was able to make it work. Anyway, nine months from the original time when I was invited, she again called, called me. My wife said, like, we're not looking at this opportunity. And I told them, well, let's get it over with. Don't, we have, don't you have like a, like a home meeting or something you want to invite me to? Might as well get it out of the way. And my wife is like, why are you saying that? I'm like, because I want you to come with me. In case I get excited, I want you to be there so that if I get excited, you can tell me that this is not for us. We're too busy. Oh, so anyway, we got there and halfway through the presentation, she goes, she elbows me and goes, I'm getting sucked in. And I said, what? <laughs> and she said, we can do this together. This is travel. I can see ourselves doing this together. So presentation was over. I signed up and she thought that we were going to build a business right away. I thought it's $365. That's what it was when we signed up. I'm like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do anything. Worst thing that can happen is just take a vacation, right? Well, two weeks after I signed up, I had been working for the same company for 13 years with a lot of flexibility, working from home. I thought I was untouchable and I was fired from my job because I was not a good steward of the job that, that God had given me. I was uh, being disrespectful to my boss. I didn't see it back then, but I see it now. And um, I, I thought I was going to be at that company forever. And um, they ended up uh, terminating my job. And, my, and I ended up looking for other jobs. And my wife told me, honey, God brought this business to us. We have been looking for a way to make an impact in other people's lives. We started a, a parenting ministry, windtheirheart.com. We used to do com parenting conferences in the U.S., Central, Mexico, Central, South America, and Europe. We started a TV show with some friends in Telemundo here in the Dallas area. Up until that, uh, when, they, when they fired me, I had to stop everything and figure out how I was gonna provide for my family. So I told my wife, we can't do this network marketing thing. I was not open enough to say to anybody, my sponsor, my wife, or anybody, that really deep down, I was afraid. And this is the point that I want to bring home for you guys. And, and to, answer the, to answer the question, how do you close the year with a ban? Everything goes back to mindset and belief. And that is what I was lacking. When I saw World Ventures, I was afraid. So I was uh, traveling, training for the new job. And my wife was invited to a Super Saturday. Byron Schrag, well, my upline was there. And uh, my wife called me from the training. And she said, honey, this is it. God brought this business into our lives. And I told her, you drank the Kool-Aid, huh? And she said, yeah, all of it. <laughs> Every last drop. <laughs> so long story short, we got to senior rep. Um, and then we got to director. But my first two to three years in the business, I was doing it with the wrong mindset and with, and with lack of belief. And I'll explain what, what I mean about that. I was communicating that lack of mindset and that lack of belief. Mindset has to do with entrepreneurship. I had never been an entrepreneur. I was in sales, but I was an employee. 